Okay, so we are here at the Sheridan Fire District, as you've already seen. Main station here in busy downtown Sheridan. They're going to have a flag raising ceremony. With the uh, American Legion Riders. I was honored to be asked to join them this morning. They're having a uh, fireman's breakfast. And in a little while, we'll be replacing an old tattered flag. And that's what we're doing this morning. Appreciate it. How about that? They're gonna be over there. I'm on the wrong side of it. Okay. I'm gonna run for governor one day. In Texas. Okay. We have a few more people rambling in, and then we'll get started. I apologize. I realize uh, some of our ex-military people keep staring at me because I'm one minute late. <laughs> Sorry, gentlemen. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, looks like we have just about everybody that can be here. So I want to start off with saying welcome. Welcome to our home. Welcome back to our home. We've been gone a year one solid year of planning, preparation, and then terror. So welcome to our grand reopening. It has been a very long year. As I said, we came from our 800 square foot house back to our new home. Our ceremony today is to welcome you, our Sheridan family and friends, back, and to also recognize and remember our past, present, and future members of our organization. Quint C.D. Ogle, Walt Eden, Don Cooley, Dennis Rogers, Rocky Gutbrod, Scott Breeden. Three fives and fire department more are to welcome you back home. We recognize those before us, with us, and in the future. Continue.
Thank you for your moment of silence. We recognize those that are gone before us. Without that, this foundation would have never been laid and we get to enjoy the fruits of their labor. Thank you to our community for being here. Thank you for the support. And we want to let everyone know you haven't seen anything yet. We're going to continue to grow. We're going to continue to meet the needs of our community and our citizens. Every day we strive to be better. Because we do one simple, simple motto. Just do the right thing. We're going to march over signifying where the 1935 is, there's a coupling set together. We're going to signify the reopening of the station. Yes, that's my boy. That's my bosses. Let's go around. Can you imagine if they broke a hip? <laughs> so there's a few people we'd like to thank, given the opportunity. First of all, the entire Sheridan Fire District, our members, our volunteers, our career personnel, our honorees. If you're an honoree or you've served here as a volunteer or employee before, would you please raise your hand? Check this out. Look around a little bit. Part of your community here. How about a round of applause? American Legion Post 75, American Legion Riders, raise your hands. Respect. Thank you for being here. Sheridan School District. They're always there with us. Oh, there's one. Board member. Oh, there's someone in the back. Thank you for being here. We also have brothers and sisters from other organizations, McMinnville, Southwest Polk, a few other of our dignitaries are here. Please raise your hand so we can recognize you as well. Raise your hand. Oh. <laughs> How about the bagpipe person? <laughs> He'll be here all week. <laughs> To our Polk County Board of Commissioners, to our Yenhill County Board of Commissioners, thank you for your support. We appreciate it. Uh, we have Ms. Ernst in the back. Would you please raise your hand? She stepped in to help out today, volunteer. She didn't realize she was going to have to cook eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Nate Kazmir. That's a cool name, isn't it? Look back there. He's the sound technician. Thank you for being here. Thank you. And those that I missed, I did not miss you on purpose. Just a lot of stuff going on. Thank you. It's an honor, a privilege for me to see these faces over and over again. Um, this is our home, but guess what? It's your home as well. The people that served before us, the people that currently serve with us, and those people that are in the future, our children, they matter. They're going to be a part of this organization. I'm going to make sure of that. With your help, with your guidance, we're going to continue to support this community that we all love. So, with that being said, our board members on this end, raise your hand so they know. Thank you, <laughs> left to right. <laughs> it's all right. Harry Cooley, no, no, is that better? All right. <laughs> Ray Boddenberg, I didn't give a good explanation. Pete Gutbrod, and our board president, Tamara Height. Yay. We're also missing Carol Harmon. Uh, she's our fifth board member. Without these people, not just because they're my, my bosses, but they're really, really good people, and they care about this community more than you probably know. A lot of late evenings, a lot of free time is given by this group. Uh, yes, they raise their voice at me sometimes, but I do deserve it. <laughs> but I cannot tell you how much of a pleasure it is to be here, especially being from somewhere else. Everyone here has welcomed me. Everyone here has made me a part of your family, I think. I better say something about my wife. I'm going to get grounded. Yes. <laughs> my wife, oh, there she is in the back. This is Lisa, my wife. Yay! Woo -hoo! You don't really just give her more applause than me. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So, anyway, thank you for your time. Now, what's about to occur is a long-time tradition 
when a new fire engine is bought, we would wash it down, clean it, and back it in. The tradition was the bug and excuse me, the buggy and carriage with the horses. They would clean the wheels because they were pulled by horses. Do I need to go any further? <laughs> This signifies, has nothing to do with horses, this signifies the coupling undone means that the house is open and everybody marches in to our new home. It's not new, but it's new to us. So with that being said, would you please? The station was, the station was built in 1983, almost to 40 years. Thank you. If you have not gotten pancakes yet, I'm about to go get in line, so you probably should hurry. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you for being here.